Hey everybody, today I'm going to show you how to repair a small hole in your drywall or plaster. So as you can see, I have two small holes here in this plaster. And I'm not going to be repairing the bottom one, but I'm going to be repairing the top one. I'm going to be filling it in. So uh, all that you need for this is a putty knife, just like this right here, okay? Um, some... Uh, spackling compound or otherwise known as putty just like this right here and then some sandpaper which I will get to uh, later on in the video okay so the first step is to fill in the majority the bulk of that hole right there so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my putty knife and since the hole is small I'm just going to get a small amount of putty on the corner of it just like that a little bit of putty and this is pink spackling compound because it turns white when it has dried okay but spackling compound can be any color so don't be alarmed if yours is yellow or beige or white or any other color all right so i'm going to get a close-up shot right now of me putting this spackling compound in that hole all right, everyone, so the main goal right here is to get this spackling compound in that hole and to fill the hole, okay? So you're going to just basically take it and just put it right over top of the hole. Then you're going to use the putty knife to wipe it off just like that. Your main goal is not to make it smooth at this point. This is just the first coat, but just basically to fill the hole. So do a few passes over it, and any imperfections can be sanded after. So just wipe it off and fill that hole and once you've done that you're going to want to give it some time to dry it should indicate the drying time on your spackling compound container but if you have the pink stuff like this you're going to wait until it is it has turned white um, but if not just take a look on your spackling compound container and uh, it'll tell you how long it needs to dry so now you must wait for it to dry all right everybody and now that we've let this uh layer of putty here dry as you can see the hole is now filled for the most part but there's still a little indent on it it's not completely flush so what i've done is, is i've gotten a little bit more putty on the spatula right here on the putty knife and i'm going to do another thin thin layer on the hole so just once again same idea put a little bit of putty on and then sort of push the knife flat against the wall to scrape it off it's literally that simple that's all that you have to do just do it once again now the goal of this layer of putty will be to um, get rid of that indent right over there and to put a thin layer of putty over top so just make sure that you fill that hole in just like that as you can see the pink spot that's where the putty has gone and then wipe it off and you should have a little bit of putty left over rinse it off the putty knife make sure that the putty knife is clean for your next layer and once again let this layer dry and it shouldn't take as long to dry because it's not as deep the previous layer was very deep because it filled the majority of the hole now we're just putting a thin layer over the hole to sort of make sure that it's completely flush so wait until it's dry and then you can move on to the next step alrighty everyone now uh, as you can see the previous layer of uh, putty has dried and I'm ready to put my third layer on so if you take a look it's pretty flat but there's just the slightest slightest indent so I just put a little bit more putty on my spatula right there and I'm gonna simply wipe the putty on once again and then use the spatula to just wipe it off press against it and wipe it off just like that and as you can see you'll see that it is uh, the pink color right there because it's filling in the gap okay so the goal is to continue putting on layers of putty and letting them dry until it is completely flat and then we'll move on to the sanding portion of uh, this tutorial so I put on my third layer of putty I'm gonna give it some time to dry and then we'll continue with the next step all right everyone now that uh, that layer of putty has dried i'm going to run my hand along it just to feel whether or not um, there are any indents or any significant you know uh things that need to be fixed and i know that with right now uh there aren't any indents and it feels pretty smooth for the most part and you know as long as there are no significant curves you know rough spots can be sanded out so that would be my last layer of putty so I use three layers however if you need a fourth layer or even a fifth layer of putty feel free to use it the better you are with the putty and the putty knife you know the less sanding you're gonna have to do and uh, that's actually the next step so once you've completed all your putting okay and you've gone over the hole and it's completely flush then what you're gonna do is get some fine sandpaper what I have here is some uh, 100 
and 80 grit sandpaper right there, okay? Very, very fine sandpaper. I'm just gonna fold it in half and I'm just gonna go over the entire area with the sandpaper very, very, very lightly. Not, you're not gonna try and sand it off, you're just trying to smooth it out very lightly, very lightly, just like that. Okay, now once you've gone over the area, you're gonna feel for any imperfections. You know, wipe off all the sand, feel for any areas that are a little bit rough, you know, that will show through the paint. And I feel this area right here is a little bit scratchy, a little bit rough. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go over with the sand paper really lightly, really lightly. Once again, just feel, continue that process, sanding and feeling until you feel that it is completely, completely smooth so that when you paint over it, it won't show. All right, everyone, now that you've finished puttying the hole, filling the hole, and sanding it down to make it smooth, you're gonna wanna take a dry rag, completely bone dry rag, just like this, and you're gonna wanna wipe over that area to get out all of the particles that you created, that you set free when you were sanding it, okay? So just wipe it for, you know, about, give or take about 10 seconds, and you should be good to go. Once you're done wiping, take your hand and feel the area. Make sure that you don't feel any, you know, excess particles that you sand it off, and make sure that it feels completely smooth. And it will be ready for paint. So the next step would be to actually get the paint and paint over the area that you puttied, and I'm telling you, you will not be able to notice that the hole was there at all if you follow the steps in this video and that's basically all that there is to it that my friends is how you repair fill and you know fix a small hole in your drywall or plaster thanks for watching